Croeso i Bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. My name is Ian Swanson, I'm Secretary of Festival Angling Club here in Ebervale. Uh, the club's been going since 1992. Um, at the time of the Garden Festival, uh, the lake was dug uh, as part of the, the Garden Festival of Wales, which is the la actually the last Garden Festival um, in the UK. Uh, following that, a, a sort of group of local anglers thought it would be a great venue to sort of uh, take over and start a new fishing club up and stock the lake for, for angling in, in the local community. And 30 years later, we're still here. Uh, the lake has matured massively since the days of the Garden Festival and obviously the steelworks that was on the site before that. And uh, we've, we've got a great head of fish, uh, some th the original fish back from when the lake was originally stocked. So as part of a membership of Festival Angling Club, you are entitled to, to fish the lake here in Ebba Vale, um, which is 39 pegs. Um, it's a mixed fishery. So we've got good head of carp, roach, bream, tench, crucian carp, chub, barbel. There's, there's literally everything, everything, every species you could, coarse fish species you could think of, uh, we've got stocked in the lake. We've also got two stretches of canal, uh, one stretch in Pontypool, on the other stretch at uh, Planesk Estate, just uh, just past Krakow, between Krakow and Lancaster. Um, so, as part of the membership, you're entitled to fish the lake and both stretches of canal. Competition-wise, we've got a pretty busy match calendar on the lake. Uh, it's a mixture of memorial matches for where we recognise um, certainly a lot of the founder members of the club they're always remembered and we have memorial matches for them and we also do like a summer league um, and a winter league on here as well which, which can be quite difficult but um, everybody seems to still enjoy it. The, the match calendar itself is done on Saturdays so we have a competition every, every other Saturday from May till till about October and then we, we usually have a Christmas match um, for those diehards who uh, <laughs> who wanna, who really want to test themselves against the venue in, uh, in the middle of December. It's always good fun though, it's, uh, the fish is hard but we, we still have a good, good day. Uh, as a club we're, we're really keen on promoting junior anglers to get into the sport and become members of the club. Um, but back, we've, we've worked a lot with the Canal and River Trust to try and encourage that by doing Let's Fish events on the lake and, and the canals. Uh, we've also run sort of uh, junior days uh, with, uh, with another local club, Come Kellen Angling Club, who we, we work quite closely with there. So we've, and we've all got qualified coaches within the club. And uh, we've seen that as a result of that and all the work we've been doing, we've seen the membership of juniors really increase recently. Uh, when we went like, probably 10 years ago, it, it was probably less than 10, it was single figures and not a lot of junior participation at all. But now we're probably, probably looking over 30 to 40 juniors um, who are active anglers on the lake, which, is, which has been brilliant to see. And, uh, and not only the juniors, the families as well. It's, uh, it's a proper family, family venue for them where they can all come and um, enjoy the fishing and, and be safe and get into the sport.
Uh, we're a really inclusive club as well. Uh, we sort of we have great facilities for any anglers with disabilities. Um, we have car parks on either end, uh, the bottom end of the car park. Uh, there's certainly there's disabled pegs which are wheelchair priority. So the bottom section where you can park right behind your peg, uh, that is like say they are wheelchair priority pegs. Plus all the paths. We got paths right around the lake, so it's easy access for trolleys. Or, or wheelchairs or any disabled users who, who need sort of like a steady steady ground to, to walk across. Um, all the pegs are pretty solid. We've just re recently renewed all the pegs about two years ago. And uh, they're wide, they're covered in chicken wire. So they're sort of, um, they're sort of anti-slip and we try to make them as safe and as user friendly as possible for, for everybody, um, disabled anglers especially. So they don't feel at all that uh, the venue is inaccessible for them. At the moment we don't offer day tickets. Uh, we stopped doing it during Covid uh, just to prevent our bailiffs having to approach people on the bank and it's worked really well for us to be fair. Um, we've seen an increase in membership. Our membership fees are quite cheap anyway, so it's quite beneficial just to buy a membership. But we also found that um, when we got, when we have a, when we have a membership club, uh, our members respect the water more. All our members have a real sort of uh, close knit and good relationship with the, with the venue and the club, so they respect it massively. For full membership, it's 30 pounds a year. That runs from, um, 1st of April to 31st of March annually and then for uh, any OAPs over 65s uh, that's £15 and then juniors um, which are under 16s that's uh, that's £10 but we do do a thing where if you're under 12 junior angler then there's no there's no real joining fee as long as you're with an adult. Uh, if someone's considering fishing the waters um, come up and have a walk around um, we've got the clubhouse on site and there's usually somebody in there who can have a chat to you about it um, take you around the lake um, so you can you can see what sort of fish are being caught and all the, all the bailiffs are really friendly you can ask them at any time uh, and they'll give you all the best advice on where to go the best thing is just come up and have a look and you can see for yourself how, uh, how such a brilliant and amazing venue we've got here Discover fishing in Wales.